Hello. How's it going, guys? I'm here to tell you about the future of tokenization, smart tokens. So first, let me introduce myself. My name is Lamont. I'm the developer relations manager for Quorum. All right, so Quorum is a layer one blockchain on the Cosmos SDK that's ultra fast, scalable, and interoperable and sustainable. All right, so what exactly are smart tokens? So smart tokens implement a fundamental asset logic supported by our protocol. Developers can choose to extend that foundational logic via smart contracts. And smart tokens can be fungible or non-fungible tokens. So what can you do with smart tokens? All right, we're talking about permission minting, minting quotas, time-based minting restrictions, role-based asset control, and multi-sig approval, among a ton of other things. So Quorum, being a Cosmos chain, allows developers to deploy projects that are interoperable with Cosmos chains via the IBC, the Inner Blockchain Communication, all right? So this enables assets to transfer and data exchanges between connected blockchains. All right, so developers can take advantage of growing DeFi ecosystem on Cosmos, which includes creating decentralized tokens that can be used across various applications and change within the Cosmos ecosystem. When it comes to this particular hackathon, this brings us to interchain tokens. So I'm talking about bridging assets, message passing from chain to chain, and cross-chain DAP tokens. Particular use cases that you can use for your projects for smart tokens, all right? So we're talking about a tokenized limited edition collection representing each with a specific number of tokens. Release these tokens as time regulated, all right, giving yourself a sense of exclusivity and urgency. So time-based minting of your tokens can be implemented to ensure that you are only minting and releasing predetermined intervals preserving a limited edition nature for your collection. Wrap tokens, okay? So here's another project idea for you guys. So create a large pool of assets available for trading and DeFi activities, liquidity aggregation. Use the same tokens across multiple chains, all right? All this leads to an increase in overall liquidity and enhances the trading experience of the users. Stable coins. So another use case for uh, interchange smart tokens, all right, is creating pegged one-to-one -one assets. A cross-chain smart token will allow for stable value to be transferred and utilized across multiple blockchains, making the stable coin more versatile. So the stable coin supply can be managed on Quorum with features such as permission minting, blacklisting, whitelisting, freezing, while remaining cross-chain. And then you have tokenized assets, all right? So you can create tokenized assets that's not restricted to a single blockchain. So reducing the risk of being tied to a blockchain that might face scalability issues, security, governance issues in the future, all right? So by being accessible on multiple blockchains, Cross-chain smart tokens can reach a wider audience tapping into the communities and user bases of each supported chain. Yep. All right, so a smart token can create arbitrage opportunities for traders who can buy the asset from one chain and then sell it on another chain where there's an even higher demand. And then the last use case really comes down to security tokens a token that provides a way to diversify risk by spreading the token's exposure across different blockchains. All right, so this is in case of a blockchain that has congestion, technical issues, or governance disputes on chain. 
so users can access their assets on the other chain. Tokens that give exclusive access to different wallets or connections or collections that are on other chains. All right? So, Corm has a lot of prizes going on in this hackathon. We really encourage you guys to take a look at our docs as well as Axelar to create cross-chain smart tokens. All right, we also have a robust grants program. So if you, after this hackathon, if you're looking to have your project funded, definitely send in an application and we can take a look at that and you can get your project funded. All right, folks, it was very nice meeting all of you and thank you. Thank you, Lamont Beal from Corio.